Hi Libras, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing a general spread for you. I'm going to look at your current energies. Then I'll be looking at something you've recently been through, the opposing energies, and then what is headed in. Thank you to all the Libras who have supported me. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. I'm going to get started right now. Spirit guides, show me the strongest energy around the sign of Libra that this reading is for, for the sign of Libra. Got to put my readers on. I have between worlds, I think Taurus got this, truth be told, and then I have deep knowing. Wow, I mean Libras, you do have a deep knowing. And you know when someone's not telling you the truth. Your strongest energy is you're between worlds. So you're, you're like, okay, well, if the truth can't be told, um, because I have this deep knowing, I know the truth, you're, you're getting ready to start something new. You're ready to go on a new journey. You're ready to take a new leap of faith. You're ready to go into a new transition. Probably right after this Mercury retrograde is over, Libras, I, I do feel that. You're walking into a new world. Like, you know, you, you, when you have patience, but enough is enough, right? So let's look at something uh, you've recently been through, Libras. If it sounds like your uh, situation, this is your reading. For the sign of Libra, Spirit Guides. Show me something they've recently been through. Uh, okay. I just got to take that card. I'm sorry. Hmm. For the sign of Libra, please. Something they've recently been through. For the sign of Libra. Thank you. If you want to tell me, please. For the sign of Libras. Something they've recently been through. Under the deck. Under the deck is I have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is uh, fire energy, but it's about victory. You know, uh, it can be a card of maybe a little bit gloating too much about a victory because underneath that I have some big ass root awakenings and then I have the Three of Swords. And this is the card of grief, broken heart, something that has hurt you, um, root awakenings from something you thought was a victory. And underneath that Three of Swords, I have between worlds because I have the world showing up. Completion of a cycle, and this is telling me whatever you've been going through, it's a completion. You're about to start something new. I'm going to stop there. I have the Knight of Love showing up in front of me, and then I have the Chariot, big Cancerian energy with the Two of Pentacles, and that is the Juggler. You know, the Chariot is when someone gets the will and determination, they haul ass after victory. And I have it with the night of offering you that cup of love. You know, I mean, I have someone who thought they were having a victory with you having some rude awakenings that broke your heart. Two of pentacles going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about it. Hmm. I have the page of wands with the two of cups. And now the big queen of love is showing up. A queen of love, Libras, is all about uh, love. You know, she is the beautiful, intuitive, knowing queen when it comes to things about love. And I feel with the Page of Wands here, that is the young, eager, fire energy about someone who maybe thought they had a victory with you. Just that eager page, immature. You know, I have a few more cards. I have the Four of Wands, and that uh, Four of Wands is my gateways about to open recently in the past. I have it with the Nine of Swords. It turned into a complete, utter, just, you still think about that Four of Wands. You're 11, 11, new gateways opening, and I think it just kind of gnaws on your brain a little bit at night, because the next card out is I have this Determined Queen. That's the Queen of Fire, Libras. That's the Queen of I'm going to get what it is that I want, because I believe you're between worlds. And I do feel that you have a deep knowing and uh, truth be told. 
And I feel that if it can't be told, because underneath all those cards, I have the lovers. Getting caught in your head about it. And then I have the Three of Cups. And I have a Ace of Cups. This is beautiful, actually. Ace of Wands. That's underneath all those energies. Two Aces. And I feel that you're transitioning into a new world. I just feel that you're going into a new place. Spirit Guides, you're posing. If you are not dealing with anyone, Libras, you can just roll into the incoming or just don't care to know. I get it, you know, or you do want to know. That's why I do it. There's a lot of people who do want to know. The opposing energies from my Libras. Hmm. Okay, spirit guides. The opposing energies my Libras have been dealing with. I have the Six of Swords, air energy about someone who took off to go to calm or seas and they're feeling quite upside down about the whole situation. <laughs> One more shuffle. I'm sorry. Opposing energies for the sign of Libra. What do you want to tell me, please? Crossing my Libras. Show me the opposing energies. Thank you. For the sign of Libra. Tell me about the opposing energies, please. Thank you. My Libras have been dealing with. Thank you. Thank you. Crossing energies. Anything else? Stop. All right. I do have that Queen of Earth underneath the deck. Uh-oh. I see the first card on my left. This is Earth energy. But with that, I have the Page of Earth. Are you dealing with an Earth sign? I have the Eight of Pentacles. The eight, three, eight, three Earthy cards underneath their energies. The Queen of Pentacles is this queen, this beautiful queen who holds on to her stability because she feels that this is whom she or he is. It's just the energy when I say she because it's a queen. You know, someone who holds on to their self-worth, but it's with the page telling me that there's something about them that was a little bit immature. I have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is someone who's been putting a lot of work into something. Six of Swords is showing up. They've been putting a lot of work into judging a situation. And then the Three of Wands. Um, and then I have the Sun under that with the Two of Cups. Leo, Two of Cups, and I have the World. The World and their energies too. So it's telling me that they feel that something has been a completion because they want to start something new. I do have the Six of Swords, and I just kind of feel that as if you took off to Commerces. And at Three of Wands, we are in a Mercury Retrograde, is a card of waiting for their ship to come in. I have Judgment, Big Major Arcana, about um, this person is really judging the situation to release the things that haven't been working to reverse something new. Let's look at the cards. I have the High Priestess, Libras, and I have it with... You showing up in their energies. And then I had the big manifester. The Queen of Swords is your energy. With the High Priestess, I feel that it's something that they know about you that you know. Because you have knowing. You know, I see your strongest energies around you right now. Between worlds, deep knowing. This is the Queen of deep knowing. Your minor arcana, the Queen of Swords. With the High Priestess, they know you know. Whatever has happened here, they know you know. I got the big manifester showing up with someone who's been holding back or holding on too tight to something that's happened, you know, or just holding on to their coin. But the manifester here is, I feel that the manifester, the, the major arcana, the magician, is about having the tools to create what it is that you want. But I feel that they're holding on too tight to something. They can't create anything. That's what I feel. I have the chariot showing up, and this is Cancerian energy, but uh, when they get the will and determination, they want to come in for victory and success, and I have it with the Eight of Pentacles. Gemini's got a lot of these same cards. It's amazing how the air signs kind of get a lot of the same. The Eight of Pentacles is more Earth energy. I mean, under their energy, I have the Queen, I have the Page, that eager young Page, a child. They might look like a queen and act like a queen, but this is what they are. And I'm not putting anybody down. It's just their younger earth energy. Putting a lot of work into something, being very focused on something. 
you know, and then I have the eight of pentacles and I feel that you just took off to commerces. I think you want something new because uh, I have you showing up with the high priestess. I have four pentacles, I'm holding back and I have judgment and the three of wands are waiting for something to come towards them. Perhaps they're judging their actions. And then the chariot and the magician is someone who's getting the willing determination to create something. But I don't know if they can. But um, that's enough about them. Let's look what is coming in towards you. I'm going to use this deck. Spirit guides. A few cards for the incoming energies from my beautiful Libras. <laughs> what do you want to tell me, please? Incoming. For the sign of Libra. Show me a few cards about the strongest energies for the sign of Libras. What else do you want to tell me, please, for the sign of Libras? Anything else? Strongest energies incoming? What you want to show me? Incoming? Hmm. Anything else? That better be a heck of a card. <laughs> Oh, I have suffering in silence. Wow, why do I have this card? I just want to get one more oracle. I'm sorry, Libras. Um, I I don't. I feel something from that. I, I, these are really heavy oracles right here, the ones I'm about to use. I want to get one more card, please. Why is the suffering in silence here in the incoming energies? The sign of Libra. Why is that card here, please, Spirit Guides? For the sign of Libra. Anything you want to show me? Okay. I got two cards. I want to know why that's here. It might not even be your energy. I have risk and I have chaos, which is the tower. You know, I kind of feel that the incoming energies is sometimes when you are between worlds. We have to have these, these chaos moments. You know, um... It's like a risk of taking a new leap, a risk of taking something that has been in your life that hasn't been serving you and, and letting it go and taking a risk in a new direction. Because you're between worlds from a deep knowing and I have truth be told and I have suffering in silence. You know, it might not even be your energies because I want to look right now. <laughs> Maybe you're going to be suffering in silence and, and taking a new leap of faith is always the hardest thing to do. For the sign of Libras, I don't know. I feel that if someone's not telling you the truth because you're in their energies with the high priestess and they know you know. They know you know that either this is not going to work out, you're between worlds, maybe you're going to feel like you're suffering in silence, but you're not. Spirit guides, incoming energies. For the sign of Libra, please. Thank you. What else do you want to tell Libras about the incoming energies? Why are those cards here? What's incoming towards the sign of Libra? Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. <laughs> Under the deck, I have the Seven of Swords. With the Ten of Pentacles, here comes the Queen of Wands again. And I have the Hermit with the moon and then i have the nine of pentacles stop right there nine of pentacles is about you mass sorry mastering something full-on achievement and then i have the ten of pentacles i have the nine and ten and i feel that it has to do with someone who has been deceptive around you you know, I feel that you're going to break away and it's probably going to hurt you. But I have the moon, big Piscean energy, but that's just telling me things may seem a little hidden. I have the hermit. You have all the answers you need. You just need to spend a little alone time. You know, that wise energy, you know, you have your answers. And I have this passionate, determined queen of wands. She was the last card out in your recent past. Feel like you're stepping up to the plate because you are being the queen of wands determined to win something here i have the knight of communication the knight of swords incoming here comes big nostalgia the six of cups 
Six of Cups is, is that kindred spirit. It's someone you have nostalgia ba about. I was going to say back. So apparently you've known this person for a while. And I have it with the Knight of Communication. But I have the Fool in front of me and it's in reverse. Um, this is someone who is just so reckless. So reckless. I, I mean, literally like... They don't even know what direction they're going. It may be you. Let me see what's going on here. I have it with the Two of Cups. And I have the Nine of Swords. I still have two cards, three cards left. I had this one who flew all the way over here. Definitely the last card. Don't know what it is. Incoming energy, suffering in silence with a love connection. I, I feel like you got someone coming towards you because I have these three cards with that night of I need to talk to you. I really do. And then I have that Seven of Swords with the Moon. It's someone who um, is deceptive. They're not telling you the whole truth. And it's something that's being hidden from you. But I have the Nine of Ten of Pentacles. And you're between worlds and the incoming energies. Yeah, someone, someone, it's a connection that um, has been very reckless. Um, I have the Nine of Swords with the Two of Cups. And it's just, there's a love connection in the incoming energy that you're going to be on the fence about. And that's why the Hermit was here. You know, the hermit. You know, very wise energy. Because I have eager page of love showing up. Hmm. I have it with the five of pentacles. Wow, that is so weird. <laughs> and I have it with the page of swords. I have two pages between that five of pentacles. The eager page of love. I have the five of I'm feeling left out in the cold. And then I have the page of swords. It's someone that you um, still think about. I just kind of feel that you're getting a new, like a little bit of breadcrumbing. And I don't mean breadcrumbing like, I don't even like using that phrase, Libras. I truly don't. But it's somebody who doesn't give you much and it's always making you feel isolated. And with the Page of Swords here, because um, the Hermit is right above it. I feel it's like that new page, you know, maybe starting to see something for what it really is. And with the hermit here, it's telling you you have all the answers you need because two of the strongest energies for me were the nine and ten of pentacles. That's a full on about mastering your beauty, your stability, achievement. And it's with the ten about your stability, you know, and I feel that this is your choice. You have a choice you have to make here. You really do. I am going to get a few cards from the Power Tarot cards. Um, for the sign of Libra, please. I, I have that Six of Cups and then I have the Fool in Reverse. It's like whatever new start's been going on here, it just seems like in the incoming energies, it's just someone who's being very reckless about something here. Because I have the Page of Cups with the Five of Shields and then the Page of Swords, Air Energy, Your Energy. You got two pages. Maybe you're starting to see something. Or think of something in a new way. Spirit guides. Uh, one or two messages for my beautiful Libras today. Thank you. What else do you want to tell my Libras? Oh, hey, then. <laughs> what do I have? Wow. Wow, you guys. They gave you two big major arcanas. And I can't make that up. That's strength and peace. I think there's a message here. Strength and grace through kindness, Libras self-confidence and forgiveness, letting something go. Uh oh, well, and I have peace. Release the past, Libras. <laughs> there is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. And I feel that this is about you getting ready because you're between worlds. You're, you're going to be taking a new leap of faith. I think you're, you're, you just need a little bit something coming in here and I think it's going to finalize it for you. This is what I have for you. If you enjoyed it today, please remember to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not. Thank you Libras for supporting my channel. I'm wishing everyone many blessings and have a great day. Thank you.